yeah what's up guys uh, welcome back to my channel and you are also welcome back to this week's episode of our weekly crypto markets price action analysis and this is if you are watching this for the first time this is a program where we do that we do on a weekly basis always on sunday where we look at the crypto markets on crypto coins that we trade in the crypto market look at their price action for the past week and also look at potential trading opportunities you can find in these coins for the for the week that we want we just enter so this is another sunday and we'll be looking at a few coins that we might be trading for the week and we'll be looking at the potential buying or selling opportunities that we can get on this coin so if you're just joining the channel for the first time make sure you subscribe to my channel because on this channel i talk about crypto trading forex trading and how to do business generally in nigeria or in africa so if this content is what you want or is this if it's something that interests you do it by subscribing to my channel and also hit the like button because that helps me in growing this channel and it makes youtube promote this video to a lot more people so that you can also benefit and also get the massive value that you are getting on this channel so if you have done that then let's get right into the content so today i'll be looking at just a few coins maybe bitcoin and ethereum and one or two more crypto coins to trade for the week because i feel this week we need to like focus on a little bit uh, of cryptos or maybe a few of them so that we we'll get to focus on them more and be able to make them and make massive profit from them for the week so i'll be looking at bitcoin uh Bitcoin, Ethereum, and a few and a two other, and also you know, if I analyze crypto using the price action analysis like a professional, so if you learn how to trade crypto like a like a professional, make sure you click on the make sure you look at the course, a crypto course where I teach people how to trade crypto like a professional, and the link to that course is in the description below. So make sure you find that get a course so that you can learn how i treat cryptocurrency and even forex like a professional so the link is the below so grab that now so let's get right into this so let's first look at uh bitcoin on a four hour time frame and looking at bitcoin on a four hour time frame, we see that bitcoin has been in a downtrend looking at the trend on a four hour from this place the market came down made a lower low lower high lower low lower high made a lower low here and it consolidated for some time around this place so the consolidation was from this place to this place before we had a massive break to the downside testing this area of value again and if you can see you see that this is an area where a lot of liquidity a lot of a lot of traders a lot of traders were cleared out a lot of stop losses were cleared out at this place there are a lot of stop losses around here cleared out by this massive liquidity rate candle before the market started moving up again then came back moved up again came back move up and there is another liquidity rate around here. so after the liquidity rate, i'm actually in a bitcoin buy i took a buy around this place so people were already in the buy from this place immediately after this liquidity was raided so i took a buy around this place and i was in the buy though even though i took that on the one hour time frame and right now we're on the four hour i'm going to scale on the to the one hour time frame later on in this video so now i took a buy somewhere around here and i'm currently in a profit and this is my target this place where i put this uh, line is my target for bitcoin so this is actually a trade i've taken that i'm currently in but for the week what i'll be looking at is a scenario where bitcoin would come to this area of value this resistance this minor resistance somewhere around here break it and retest and then continue for a buy targeting the 285 zone that is my first case scenario for bitcoin for this week so i'll be looking at a scenario where bitcoin is going to break this resistance then retest and then continue up or the second scenario is that I would like if okay, I would look at a scenario where Bitcoin is going to come to this resistance, reject and come back here. Then once Bitcoin come back here, I'll be looking for another opportunity 
to buy again and target this area of value so that is my buy scenario on bitcoin for the week um i actually don't i actually think that bitcoin is not going to buy i'm convinced that bitcoin is going to buy and i'm not uh looking for any short opportunity yet unless there is a rejection and i'll be short scalping but then you know that this analysis is purely on the higher time frame to the lower time frame not a five minute analysis and some of you that have been watching my video know that i do some scalping on the five minutes but this weekly analysis is not for it even though i'll be looking at the at the video i'll be making a video during the week where i'll be explaining how i do my five minutes scalping analysis so make sure you subscribe and be on the lookout for that particular video but then till then let's stick to the four hour one hour and maybe the 30 minute that we use for this our weekly analysis so now so i'll be looking at the scenario where bitcoin will break this resistance and i will buy or reject come back to this area of value or back to this area of value and i'll be looking for a massive buy but i feel i'm pretty much uh let me just get rid of this sorry i'm pretty much uh optimist optimist is that is he optimist i'm pretty much uh i'm pretty sure that bitcoin is likely not going to come back here immediately probably we will have a rejection to this place and will create a higher high so that is my scenario on bitcoin so my my scenario on bitcoin for this week is a buy 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 even though that doesn't mean that there won't be some selling opportunities in between through maybe pullbacks and reversals but then i'll be targeting a the 28,500 zone for my buy so i'm either buying when the market comes back to this place or when the market breaks this resistance so and you know when i analyze on a higher time frame i take my entries on a lower time frame so in most cases i scale to the one hour to take my buy so if i take my buy here my first level target would be my first level target would be if i take my buy at the breakout here my first level target would be somewhere around here somewhere around here this area of value that i've marked before and sorry let me just get this to mark it somewhere around here yes then second target somewhere around here second target around here then this will be my final target for the trade so just let's just look at that and if you get to pick that trade during the week kindly come back to this video and comment telling me you are able to make that trade and you are able to make money from the trade so sorry so let's let that will be my scenario on btc so let's scale to ethereum and look at what ethereum has to offer so for ethereum i was taking a trade on ethereum last week but eventually didn't go to our take profits and that was that so now for the week let's let me get to the four hour and see what we have on ethereum so on ethereum Ethereum has already moved from this area of liquidity and it already bought already, came to this place, uh, reversed, uh, had a pullback and broke this place. So Ethereum is already in a buy, even though I didn't take that trade, I was not looking at Ethereum. I was only trading Bitcoin and some oil, some Forex pairs for the week. So, but looking at Ethereum for this week we just entered, I'm looking at the scenario where Ethereum will come back here and then I will look for a buy opportunity to ride the market up and up again but you know the market does not move in a straight line so expect that at this at several points there will be some pullbacks and stuff like that some consolidation some pullbacks some retest and stuff like that so i be looking for a buy on ethereum but i want it to come back to this area of value today retest this place and i'm going to be buying and also if that does not happen so let's say ethereum goes back to this resistance goes up to this resistance i'm looking to be to be shorting it on my five minute time frame strategy waiting for it maybe something like to do something like this go back come back here then i will buy again so that is my scenario for a buy on ethereum so you know whenever i trade i use candlesticks a lot to get my entry so i'm not i'm definitely not going to be entering on the four hour i'll be entering on the 30 minutes or maybe the one hour 
or the 30 minutes and maybe the one hour time frame so you know looking at what i drew on the four hour if if you have a case where ethereum comes back to this place so there might be it might come to this area of trend line bounce off this trend line and buy so you know i use different different conferences different things to take my trade so i'll be taking the trade on the four hour i'll look for a scenario where ethereum will, will, the market will come back to this trend line and then i'll be buying or it's generally where the market is going to come up reverse and then i'll buy again so that is my trade that's my uh scenario for buying ethereum for this week so let's let's pretty much look at my other let's look at ADA. let's go to the four hour and see if we can find any trading opportunity on this this coin so this this market shows that ADA has been in a buy from this area of demand area of demand has been in a buy and it is already approaching a resistance around here it's already approaching a resistance around here so this is a resistance sorry this is a resistance but then also looking at the chart patterns this market looks like something has given us a triple bottom pattern which is like this is the first bottom from this place, market moved up came back moved up and came back giving us a triple bottom uh triple bottom formation so what are we looking for in this market is a scenario where the market is going to break out of this neckline if you don't understand what a neckline is then you need to take the tennis cryptocurrency mastermind my crypto course where i explain how you can treat the crypto market and the advanced technical analysis and strategies so you can just find the description find the link in the description box and take that course so that you'll be able to understand more of this so this is a true bottom formation and you know when you have a true bottom formation you'll be you have a neckline around here and you'll be looking for a scenario where the market will break out of this neckline you'll be looking for a scenario where the market is going to break out of this neckline retest and then you buy the retest and targets and have your target so if I'll be doing that, I can just scroll to the lower time frame to identify my potential targets for the trade. So for the trade, I'll be looking at my first target somewhere around here. Then second target somewhere around this area of value. And my final target would be here. Yeah. I find that it will be, and that's going to give me a very, a very reasonable risk to the world trade. So if I'm taking the trade here, and I'm putting my stop loss just a little bit below that area of value, then I'll be targeting this as my final target, and that's a trade of 5.05 reward. So that is that's going to be massive. So be looking out for for that breakout and retest. To, and if candlestick formation is going to tell you the market is about to move for a buy on ADA for the week. So also, lastly on this week's episode, I'll be looking for at MANA. If you are enjoying this video, make sure you put a comment in the comment section telling me you are getting massive value from this video. And also, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. So, on i think i have i've even drawn this before now so we have mana mana has formed a double bottom formation it has a double bottom formation and this double bottom i will be it has the market has bought already the market has been moving in the buy direction already so i wouldn't be fomoing you know fomo f-o-m-o -O, fear of missing out i wouldn't be joining the buy already because the market has it has moved already so i'll be looking at a scenario where i'll be trading the chart pattern of this double bottom so let's say the market comes up here if it gets rejected i may be selling if the market comes here sorry if the market uh, comes up and gets rejected i'll be looking for a sell opportunity to come back to this area of value where it might form a triple bottom but if, if it does not I believe we generate the market is break out of this neckline, retest, and then by targeting these highs. But then that would not be my 
that will not be my target. That will not be my target. So I'll be looking for target on the lower time frame, which is my one hour. So just in a case where I'll be buying here, so my first target will be somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. That will be my first target. And my overall target, my overall target would be this blue line. This blue line will be my overall target for mana. So that is my, those are the few, the four assets I'll be trading in crypto for this week. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share with my, with your friends. So next week we'll be coming back to look at this trade and also look for more potential trading opportunities. And also during the week, I'll be dropping some videos on technical analysis. So make sure you stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. See you next week.